Okay, now we're ready to create protection groups and recovery plans. This is very similar to what you've already learned with the vSphere replication lessons. Basically, we'll create a protection group, but instead of selecting vSphere replication, this time we'll select array replication. We'll provide a name for the protection group, and there'll be placeholder VMs that get created as a result of this process, and they'll be placed in the placeholder data store. Once a protection group is created, you can then go in and create a recovery plan. This is even simpler in that you provided a name, you select the protection group, and you're ready to go. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into the demo for this uh, simple section. And I'll show you how you can create a protection group and a recovery plan using array replication. Okay, here we are back at the good old site recovery plugin on my vSphere client. And what we'll want to do at this point, now that we have Array Manager set up and we have Array Pairs enabled, we'll want to go into Protection Groups, of which I don't have any at the moment, as you can see by this empty column over here. So what we'll want to do is create a Protection Group, just as we had done earlier. We can do it a couple of ways. We'll do it by going to the Summary tab this time. We'll create a Protection Group at the Protected Site. And instead of vSphere replication, as we did earlier, we will use array-based replication. We'll select an array pair and click Next. We'll select the data store groups that we're going to be working with. In this case, we only have one data store group, which is my protected volume. It has two virtual machines stored on it. So in this case, I'm going to protect both of them. I'll go ahead and click Next. Now we need to give it a name, so let's just call this oh, Protection Group 1. Click Next. Then when we're done here, we'll go ahead and click Finish, and we'll switch around a little bit here, and you'll see a couple things happening. One, it's creating the Protection Group. Two, it'll also be creating my placeholder VMs. As you can see right now, they're popping in under ESX2. They look like normal VMs. And then when they're all finished, they get that nice little lightning bolt to give them a clear indication that these guys are not real VMs, they're just placeholders for a possible recovery in the future. Go back to the site recovery we can see that we have a protection group and I have a protection status of OK. Next up, recovery plans. And you've seen this before, so this shouldn't be too big a, an issue. But we're going to go ahead and click on Create Recovery Plan. We're going to do that at the recovery site, which makes sense. And we'll click Next. You need to select your protection group. In this case, I only have one, so this is easy. We'll go ahead and click Next. And here's where we want to quickly validate the test network that we'll be using for recovery. It's pretty simple. Um, these would be production networks that are attached to actual network adapters. Test networks are something entirely different. We don't want these to allow virtual machines to talk to other virtual machines. In the case of a test, we're not turning down the production VMs. So we do want to make sure that this test network is isolated. In my case, I could select a VMware port group here that we have the necessary isolation rules set up with either firewalls or, or certain routing rules. Since I have a very simple situation here, we're going to go ahead and auto-create that bubble network that we used earlier when we worked with the vSphere replication lessons. We'll do that for both these networks. Then go ahead and click Next. And we'll give this a quick name. and We'll call it Recovery Plan 1. I know. I should be an author, right? We'll go ahead and click Finish. And we have a recovery plan. This is a basic recovery plan. There's not much to it. However, it has all the information that we need to actually begin doing a recovery. Since the virtual machines have been copied to that replicated storage some time ago, there's a number of replicated versions of those VMs 
at the recovery site as we speak. So if we wanted to, we could work on testing the plan right now, or we could wait until we introduce that to the next topic. So I'm going to make you wait, but not too long. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll get back with you in just a second.